But continuing on about this uh, story, this testimony, where the Lord called me to uh, build another cross and and walk from uh, Bangs, Texas, to uh, to San Antonio to see the Pope, and and where the Lord brought a friend of mine from Canada across into the United States, and he told me he had a felony. And the guy in the border guard waved them across, and God opens up a door. He opens up a door. Doesn't matter what the circumstances are. And Art was telling me that uh, you know, he's a Volkswagen wheeler and dealer, right? And uh, he had, at the time that I phoned him, he had about 13, 14 Volkswagens. And uh, the Lord told him, says, I want to get rid of all these, all these cars for you in a week. Except for one. And that's the car that he drove down. One of these most Volkswagen station wagons. You know, perfect for putting the cross on, right? Anyway, uh, Art comes down and it was uh, Art got to meet Sister Hazel and Brother Johnson. Beautiful people that have since passed on with the Lord. And I know they're up there in glory, you know, looking down. At times to time, I you know, you know, I feel Sister Hazel's presence, I feel her spirit, and uh, she's one of the ones that really has the love of God in her heart. So we began on this journey, and uh, to to Austin, we make it down there. And I can still remember taking the cross and, and coming onto the platform where, where David Terrell was. And, and uh, the people there thought we were kind of kind of nuts, kind of crazy. But anyway, we we started on our our, our journey to Austin, and uh, it was had a lot you know a lot of. Met, met a lot of kind people along the way. Sure stirred a lot of people up. Remember this one time we were on a early morning walk. And I was all dressed in white at the time, and hauling this this uh, 16 foot cross. And uh, it was just after sunrise, and you know, Art would go about a mile ahead and and park, and we'd stay there and pray. You know, I was coming up behind and <laughs> uh, it was just after sunrise and you know just I was coming over top of the hill and this guy you could see flying down the road and apparently uh, what happened when we finally got to this little restaurant up the way there for breakfast this one guy said do you see that you no know, he, he thought the second coming of the Lord was taking place so we all had a good laugh, and uh, well, when we got to the papal site, we were, I actually had a book that was a follow-up of uh, Benjamin Krem, Krem's work of the Masters of Wisdom. You know, some of you may know, know that little thin book, but they put out a, uh, an update there around 80, 87, 88, and a fairly thick book. And, this had to do with uh, <clears throat> a lot of Maitreya, you know, a lot of Maitreya's comments and, and how everything fit together. And he was saying that, making mention about the Catholic Church uh, and things like that. And a lot of the Catholic people, but the the Pope is part and parcel of what's to take place in these last days. And, this Pope now is preparing the, the Catholic Masses to to receive Maitreya at his appearing. And uh, same as the nominal Christian churches are being prepared by their leadership to uh, to go into to become a world citizen and things like that. And, there's many Christians or you know Christian leaders are going to say, well, it's okay to 
take the mark, it's not going to, you know, God, God will understand. And uh, this is happening. And whether you like it or not, you know, not all churches are of the truth. Most have been compromised. And, uh, you know, most have, many have uh, Satanists right in, right in the camp, posing as Christians. I've met some personally myself, and we're walking in the Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord, of the Lord shows you who is who. But anyway, in this book, uh, you know, reading this book by Benjamin, by Benjamin Krem, when I had time, and, and uh, when we got to the Papal site, we had to park outside, we couldn't bring the cross in to the site. Well, we stayed there until the Lord gave us the orders to go in, so we, so we went in. In the book that I was reading, it was talking about the prayer of agreement, and, and to where uh, the Pope received his power from the beast uh, through uh, power of transmission, and where uh, you know God sent us there to, to break that transmission, the short circuit uh, where he was getting his power from. So we waited until about a few minutes before the Pope was going to take the podium. Remember this black cardinal came on and and uh, was introducing him. And this, this was never on the news, this was not publicized. Anyway, the Lord said no. So he prayed a prayer of an agreement. And we asked the Lord to, to short circuit this connection that the Pope had with, with his source. And we could see in the spirit these angels circling around the entire site. The Pope came on and he took that mic and put it to his mouth. He said two or three words. It was like his, he couldn't speak anymore. He just could not speak. The Lord cut his source, the source of his transmission of his power. I'm not saying this to come against the Catholic faith. I'm just saying that the Pope is not who he says he is. He's not the victor of God and he is leading the masses into to receive Maitreya. And uh, that's it. That's all I'd like to share on this this part. It's a true thing. We continue the journey to uh, to New Orleans and I was going to walk. Art had to go back to Canada and, and uh, I continued on south. And, but it was the Lord's will to actually end the journey in in San Antonio. And uh, there's another story to tell that actually brought the journey to an end. Uh, that, and, and Halloween of that same year. Okay, I'm just going to cut this cut this off here. It's a true story. This is not to you know, take away from the Catholic people. They're, and very loving people. And the Lord is going to bring many of them. He's going to free many of them. Just like many of the of the charismatic and Pentecostal groups. You know, the Lord is going to free them. It's his heart to free a people and if you don't know the truth. The truth will set you free. And that truth is knowing that the love of God is the power that can free the soul. Yeah, that ends this part.